Monroe, Michigan, a massive fire broke out at the top of an apartment building, leaving people there without a home. WTOL's Laura Sandlin spoke with the city's director of public safety about what's next for the people living there. The call came in around 4 a.m. An apartment building at the intersection of South Monroe and East First in the city's downtown was engulfed in flames. Chad Tolstit, the city's director of public safety, says that police and fire arrived on scene as ash and burnt pieces of roofing sprayed from the top of the building. Tolstit told WTOL that a firefighter was injured on scene and was transported to the hospital where he is in good condition. Monroe is a historic community, so it's always hard to see some of our historic buildings like this get burned and be damaged, but mostly my concern is for the residents that displaced. Monroe Fire estimates that there are some nine apartments in the building, all of them fully occupied at the time of the fire. Luckily, Director Tolstit says that everyone inside was evacuated with no injuries. All the residents will be displaced due to the uh, smoke, fire, and water damage in the building. Salvation Army has already been contacted. They're out now here helping, helping those residents. However, Director Tolstit says that many of those living inside lost everything. I've spoken with some of them and some of them have already contacted family members. It's unknown at this time if they'll be able to come back into the apartments. It doesn't look likely. At this time, Director Tolstit says that the cause of the fire is unknown and their crews are continuing to investigate, getting to the bottom of why these people no longer have a place to call home. They've, they, a lot of them have lost everything and have, will have to restart start anew. Reporting in Monroe for WTL 11, I'm Laura Sandlin.